know there's all kinds of sandwiches. There's, they're usually separated by shape. There's square ones, and there's round ones, and then there's long, skinny ones. The square ones don't have any particular name. The round ones are known as burgers, and the long, skinny ones are known by every name you can imagine, depending on where they're made. They're hoagies or subs or po' boys or grinders or who knows what else they're called. But that's what I'm going to make this morning for breakfast is one of the long, skinny versions. Uh, I haven't had one of those and there's, it has a lot of possibilities that some of the others don't. Okay, I have everything laid out here that I'm going to use in making my sandwich this morning. I have a white roll here, got some deli sliced ham and some Swiss cheese and got an egg and oh yeah, down under there someplace, there's a lettuce leaf down there that I'm going to put in it. And I'm going to use spicy ranch dressing on it. Now if you don't have spicy ranch, you can use regular ranch and put a little shot of sriracha sauce in it. And, mix it in or use just whatever you want. It's it's strictly up to you. I, I happen to like the spicy ranch dressing. It, it has a certain bite and I like it. So I'm going to use it. The first thing I'm going to do is toast the cut surface of the bun here. Stick it over here in the oven and Put it on broil and toast just the top of it. Okay, this is lightly toasted now. Bring them over here. Get rid of that. And the first thing I'm going to do now, there's a top and a bottom to it. Here's the top. Here's the bottom. Nope. Well, here's the top. Here's the bottom. I'm going to put a little of this spicy ranch dressing on the bottom here. That'll be about enough. Next comes the lettuce leaf. And the cheese. And in the meantime, I'm going to break an egg in the pan that's hot here. Break the yellow. Do my old ice trick. And put a lid on it. And let that start cooking. <laughs> Well, I finished my sandwich here, putting it together. Oh, how's this going to fit? I guess this way is best. Since the slices are bigger than the bun. It's okay if it hangs over the end a little bit. Now that's ready for the for the egg when it's done. Put this on a plate here. Check the egg. Oh yeah. Perfect. Coffee pot over there is coughing away, and coffee will be ready in a few minutes. A little salt and pepper on the egg. And it's ready to go to the table.
That didn't take long, and I'll bet it's going to be delicious. Well, here it is on the table with my coffee, ready to eat. I'm going to enjoy that sandwich. Now let's see how this puppy tastes. That is a big breakfast sandwich. Get it all gathered up here. Now that's a breakfast sandwich. I'll make one. Gonna buy the egg in there. You know, I told you about the Longhorn Cattle Drive down Main Street of Fort Worth on my last video. It's something that's worthwhile to see. And if you're looking for an authentic Mexican restaurant in Fort Worth, and there's lots of them there, but the one I would suggest is called Joe T. Garcia's. It's been around since 1935, still in the same family, still serving the same menu. They only have two things on the menu, a combination plate or fajitas. With fajitas, you do have a choice of chicken or beef or a combination of the two. But just like in 1935, they take only cash. They don't take credit cards, traveler's checks, uh, personal checks, wampum, or anything else. Come in there with U.S. hard currency in your pocket if you pl plan to eat there. Uh, here's the front of the building. which isn't very uh, impressive at all. However, you get inside and it's much bigger in there than you ever thought. They have a large dining room, but then they have almost a half a block of patio. And down at one end, they even have a, a place where they can have weddings or uh, meetings or anything like that. And they can serve anywhere from one or two people to, I guess, a thousand. But uh, it's Joe T. Garcia's, and it's a great place to go and take take company, especially. Oh, and they only have three drinks: water, beer, or margaritas. Oh, they have iced tea too. Yes, I'm sorry. So, uh, God bless USA. God bless Texas, and thanks for watching my videos.